Hey everyone and welcome back to another speed building video. While I'm recording this voiceover, this build doesn't have a name yet, but it will once it's posted because otherwise I can't. Um, <laughs> I can't post it. Um, it's a contemporary style um, home. Um, and as you can see at the front, there's like that square part there. Um, that's a <clears throat> little self-contained flat. I imagine it as something like this is a family home and then the grandmother, um, or like one of the um, parents, parents, what am I saying? So like I imagine the grandmother living there, it was built for her and made to look like part of the home. Um, the way that I did it eventually so it was like an extra addition at a later point um, kind of how I, I, I pictured it but this 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 is how it's turned out I actually quite like how it turned out it's a bit different because you know that that part that's connecting there um, uh, between the two homes the right there there's the two buildings um, no one's actually gonna use that um, <laughs> At first I was having them on like the highest, um, like the double, double high walls, but I eventually changed that, um, trying to, trying to do it here, trying to work out how I want to do all the, um, uh, uh, layouts and stuff. Um, <laughs> know what I'm saying, I, I never know what I'm saying, it's great. Um, the shape of the, the granny flat I guess. It's not like a granny flat in like the typical sense of a granny flat. It doesn't look old and um it or but like yeah. Um <laughs> it's kind of a granny flat I guess. Um but there's a lot of large windows and um such so yeah it's it's a, a nice little space little I say look at it it's not very little at all um I'm just working yeah I'm just just figuring out the layout here just a little bit um so downstairs obviously is there the wow I can't say words apparently downstairs is obviously the living space um and upstairs bedrooms, um, there's three bedrooms in the main building, um, one of them is a master room with an ensuite, um, and then there's, um, in the other building there's a bedroom upstairs with a small bathroom and downstairs is like a little, um, living area, but obviously, um, whoever would live there would come in and out of their house as well, like, I imagine them being like the grandmother of her or family or whatever. Um, an older child or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I was doing here. I don't think I knew either then. Um, <laughs> oh, um, and again, no roofing because apparently I just don't do that these days or something. I don't know. Maybe the next house I build will have like actual roofs. Uh, roofs. An actual roof. You don't have more than one roof. Like you have on a house, it's the one roof. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, um so it's. It, it's got a few things. We've got some stone, we've got some wood, and then I, I went with like a sort of a stucco as a base, which isn't on there yet. I don't know why I didn't just do the stucco first, but you know, whatever. I wanted to do it all individually, apparently, because I am ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're just putting in different things here and there, uh, moving, moving the pool. Um, Um, yeah, it's just, just kind of doing the exterior, um, putting in the different wall pieces and such. Um, 
there's a saw a lot of space on the plot of land that I put it on so it's a 40 by 50 lot um so it's quite a big lot um so really you could easily add on or like make the yard bigger or whatever um but uh, I don't know how how this one turned out was oh, it's kind of all right I, I, I like it um um and again inside the white plaster is the base and basically um and here i'm doing the kitchen i'm using some of the spa day spa day yeah spa day counters um i'm putting the oven there in the middle there just just for something a bit different because i usually don't um <laughs> i know other people have so like it's not like that different but for me it's different that's kind of what i was saying basically um <laughs> And it's it's kind of monochrome. Everything is monochrome. It's just the easiest thing. If you're not building for a specific family, um, the easiest thing to do is black and white because it's easy to change, easy to add to, easy, easy. Um, and also, you know, with Sims 4, it's really hard sometimes to match color swatches um but anyway here we are doing the dining space i wanted a large square table so i made one uh, which is not a new thing because plenty of people have done that but i just i, I wanted that rather than a long eight seat table i don't know why i wouldn't want that but yeah um so did that there mm, here i'm just choosing a light because i like i like to have cool lights over the dining rooms, um, like kind of like feature lights, if that makes sense. I mean, if you can have a feature wall or whatever, why don't you have like a feature light? Um, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> here I am um, on the living space. Um, we've got some of the nice stuff from City Living. Um, the cheese move over a little bit um, soon and then... Um, um, the table from fitness stuff. Um, actually there was a lot of fitness stuff here. Um, but yeah, I'm just choosing a rug and then I decide to go with that. I think that was the one I went with in the end, that one. Um, and here I'm like, okay, bookcase, bookcase, where can they go? Oh, they can go under the staircase, there we go. Um, and then I decide to put the desk there. Well, that desk. There's a desk there with the computer. So, like, we've got that there. Um, and now, looking here on the bathroom. The bathrooms are really basic. Like, I didn't even take pictures of it when I was taking pictures of the house afterwards because there. I, I don't. I put. I didn't even put, like, the miscellaneous stuff because at the time I was just like, meh. Who pays attention to bathrooms? <laughs> anyway, moving upstairs, putting in the wardrobes, um, and kind of need that that um post column. That's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> um, here I'm changing my mind. Um, I don't know what I was doing. I don't think I knew what I was doing, but I got what I wanted in the end. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh man, yeah. I just sometimes it's just like, what am I even doing? Um, but yeah, I was considering those diagonal zigzaggy carpets actually, because they be they're quite cool for a kids' room, but I mean, side against it. Um, Went with a lot of white for the but 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 master bedroom. I should have changed the wardrobe. Oops. Oh well. Um. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I just kind of like when it comes to bedrooms and stuff. I'm just like, there's only so many things you can do, and I always use the same bed because I do. I just really like that bed. I'd want that bed. Um, 
Um, uh, picking out wallpapers and such for the other bedrooms. So one of them I pictured is for a teenager, the other one for a child. Um, you could change it if you download it, like whatever. Um, um, so this is the one that I imagined as a teenager's bedroom. Um, it's, it's a bit nice, a bit classy, and so like a teenage girl, she's, she's, she's trying to grow up, be a bit older than she really is, so that's kind of the style there, and then this is just like, boom, kids, well not really, but like, I really like that red, orangey sort of thing, we're going into summer here in New Zealand, so, um, I was just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm feeling that for the summery, um, sort of thing, because this is like, you know, these are the big large windows, I, you know, see it as somewhere a bit good for like summer so you want like kind of if you like the sun and stuff um but yeah that's basically the bathrooms i don't go back to them i don't add anything they're just that um i don't care <laughs> i don't care anymore about bathrooms oh uh, uh, oh well um <laughs> Um, the bathroom in the, um, self-contained flat is just a toilet and a shower. Like, that is it. I don't even have a sink. Um, I could have done it like I did in the tiny house, but I didn't want to in these sinks in the house. And some hygiene thing, I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> whatever. Um, putting in some curtains, um some nice stuff so vintage glamour for this room as well as the teenage girls room i love the vintage glamour stuff it's just it's it's a really good items in that pack and just it just is um but basically this this self-contained flat is basically all vintage glamour except for the kitchen which is the same stuff as inside the house so you know it's fine. Um, and I'm just putting in. I'm not going. Ah, yes. Okay. And I'm just changing it. I have gold and black sort of theme here. Um, going in to going to the back back area. It's not really the back. It's the front. Um, the patio. Here we go. Putting in like a sort of the barbecue space. Um, so you know. Like I said, I imagine it's somewhere that, that have a lot of summer type of things, or like maybe warmer for more of the year, or something like that, I don't know. Or they just, they're just a family who loves summer and so spends a lot of time outside during summer. I don't know, but this is, this is what I was doing here, and then I decided to put a post at the front, because it just looks a bit silly not having the post there. Um, and saying that, I actually want to do like a floating house. Um, so we will see how that goes. Um, um, I might do that next time I do a build. Um, <laughs> and then there's this little space here just inside the master bedroom upstairs. Um, and it's just a little reading nook basically because I'm me and everything, everywhere should be a reading nook. Every house should have a reading nook. All things should be reading nooks. Reading. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, my room has so many books, it's ridiculous. Um, anyway. <laughs> I mean, when, when you see other people's builds, you really see their personality come through. Because I always have a reading, well not always, but like, a lot of the time, if there's a space in a build, it's a reading note. Whereas for someone else, it might be something else that they put there. Um, so, you know, you can kind of see what kind of person they are through through that, which is, I think, I think it'd be pretty interesting. Um, uh, I, yeah. Um, putting some rails on the stairs because, whoops, people falling down there and breaking the necks, not a good thing. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and just going through the decorative stuff, putting those shelves there. But I don't think anything actually ended up on those shelves. I'm not sure. They're kind of just more decorative. Mm, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm 
putting in a spa tub, a hot tub, I mean, um, should be, they should remember them or be, what people call them hot tubs. But every time it's like, it's a spa, it's a spa pool. Um, so, yeah, that's right. You might just have to get used to me saying spa pool because that's how I say it. That's what I say. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> Oh man, okay. Now, just putting in decorative items. I said that like two minutes ago, one minute ago. I don't know, time is weird. Um, <laughs> plants and stuff. Yeah, I don't know why I always put so many plants in my words. I have like no plants. I used to have a cactus because um, I really wanted a cactus. I also would really like to have a Venus flytrap because they're cool. Um, but like, the cactus died because I couldn't look after it. Like, that's how bad I am at looking after plants. So, it was a cactus. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have a lot of plants, and yet I always put so many plants. Um, yeah. Maybe they're fake plants. Nothing wrong with fake plants. Well, I mean, you want real plants for, like, the environment and blah, blah, blah. I say blah, 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 at least at, at when the environment, as if the environment is a part of what I what I consider when I vote. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's not relevant right now. Uh, I know real plants are important, but like also fake plants are just easier to look after and then also you don't have to worry about, I mean easy to look after, you don't have to look after them at all. And then you can have something pretty and you don't have to look after it. Which, by the way, when you have a chronic illness, that's a good thing. Because looking after things takes spoons. Um, <laughs> I'm talking so much nonsense in this. I don't know. I don't. I, I yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I... Basically... I was like looking through this and I was like, oh yeah, towels and stuff, I should probably add that to the be bathrooms and stuff. Ah, uh, nah. Um, so that didn't happen. Um, um, and then here in the bedroom, I put those string of photo light things in the teenage room. Teenage room. Um, um, there's not a lot of landscaping for this. I think I put in a, like a tree. Um, or maybe some bushes. Oh yes, I'm putting in some bushes. Okay. That's alright. I thought I like only put in a tree and I was like, oh no, that's terrible. But not really, like if you just have want something nice and clean cut, then it's fine. So here we go. The tree. It is the tree. I just took far too long deciding which chimney to put in there. I don't know why. They're not that different. They're all pretty much the same. So <laughs> I'm just putting in a few extra touches, I believe putting in those plunder boxes, but I don't think much more is being added, I was going to add the drain pipes, but I didn't, um, so I think we're going into the pictures soon, um, so yeah, uh, just some lights, some lights for the outside, because I mean, when you have to go through the whole patio to get into the house, you kind of want outside lights, um, <laughs> <laughs> because I would definitely trip over something for break my toe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, here we go. Uh, here we are going into the pictures. This will be available for download by the time this video goes up. The link will be in the description, or you can look up Annalise MB on the gallery. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.